to do it this way or do you want to do a strategy okay five times three is the five carry the one five times seven is plus one is carry the three five times five is uh, plus three is how many decimal places one so 286 and five tenths pounds Number eight, attention precision. Carrie and Jeff catch three sockeye salmon and six pink salmon. What is the weight of the fish they catch? So the sockeye, so 9.37 times what? Three, do you wanna work it this way or use the strategy? Okay, so seven times three is? Carrie the two, three times three is? Plus two is carry the one. Three times nine is plus one is how many decimal places? Two. Okay. Next one, I'm going to take what is the pink salmon? Two tenths times six. Okay. Now, um, remember, do we act like there's a decimal? No. Nope. We'll just put it in at the end. Six times two is. Well, carry the one. Six times eight is 48 plus one is how many decimal places? One. Now what do I need to do? Add 28 and 11 tenths. And I use my decimals to line everything up. And what do I put after the two? A zero to hold my spot. Bring the decimal down. Zero plus one is one. Two plus one is nine plus eight is Carry the one. One plus four plus two is 
So my answer is. Open ended right and solve a problem that compares the length of two types of CMA. Okay, we're going to go ahead just because it's highlights and mark that off. But we, let's go ahead and talk about something we could have done and then found the answer. So we could have said um, the owner buys uh, five Atlantic salmon and then they buy um, maybe six pink salmon. What is the difference in the weight of the amount of fish that they buy? Right? Okay. Something like that. All right. Multiply 10 through 12. Do you guys want any strategies or do you guys want to just work it out? Okay. Yeah. okay. 8 times 2 is? There is a 1. 2 times 3 is? Plus 1 is? 2 times 9 is? And then how many decimal places? So 18 is 76 hundredths. Okay, this one, let's use distributed property. So six times parentheses, how am I going to break the 76 hundredths apart? So 70 hundredths, right? Plus, and then, they're not 70 hundredths, guys, just seven tenths, right? You can do 700 so you're going to see the Plus 600. So I'm going to plug it through. So what is 6 times 7? 42. And then you add one decimal. So 4 and 2 hundredths. Plus what? 6 times 6? 36. 36. But then you have how many decimal places? 2. So it would be 0.36. Right? So what, um, so 20 hundredths plus 36 hundredths is what? 56 hundredths, right? And then four and 56 hundredths, okay? Next one, let's do partial products. So nine times nine is what? 81, but it's 81 hundredths, right? I'm going to work it over to the side, guys, so I have a little bit more room because it's my So 8,100, so basically this is me working it underneath there, okay? 9 times 5 is? Um, 45. 45, and you only have one decimal, so it would be 4.5, right? Okay, 9 times 4 is? Um, 36. Do we have any decimals there? Nope. Okay. But I'm still using everything to hold my spots. Okay, and then nine times two is eighteen. Is eighteen, right? But is it eighteen or one eighty? One eighty to hold my spots correctly. Okay, put my decimal down. One thirteen. Carry the one. Eleven. Carry the one. Twelve. Carry the one. Two. So my answer is 221 and 3100. Use the price shown for 13 through 16. Okay, so Anna buys three pounds of potatoes. How much does she pay? So how much are the potatoes? A dollar sixty-five times three. Do you want to work it this way or you guys want to um, do one of your strategies? Okay, five times three is carry the one, three times six is carry plus one is carry the one, three times one is plus one is, and then how many decimals? So, describe how you found the cost of the sweet potatoes. So, basically, we just worked from each place value, right? Or correct, right to left, and then regrouped if needed. Okay, so we worked through the place values right to left.
hit enemies, then regroup the bleeding, then put a two quick spot. Nicole likes two pounds of onions and four pounds of tomatoes. How much does she buy? So how much is the onion? One dollar and twenty nine cents times two. Do you guys want to do it this way or use the strategy? This way, okay. Two times nine is the eight. Carry the one. Two times two is plus one is two times one is, and how many decimal places? Two. Next one. Onion or er, tomatoes cost. 79 cents times four. So four times nine is six. six. Carry the three. Four times three is twenty-eight plus three is thirty-one. Put the one carry the three. Three times zero is zero plus one or three is two decimal places. So now we're going to add our $2.58. Use our decimal to keep everything in line. 6 plus 8 is 14. Carry the 1. 1 plus 1 plus 5 is 7. 3 plus 2 is 5. So $5.74. Number 16. 1 buys 3 pounds of onions and 2 pounds of broccoli. Raj buys 5 pounds of potatoes. Who pays more? Explain. So, the onions were what? For three pounds. What are we going to do? And add a dollar twenty nine. So, seven, one, eight, three, right? So, three eighty seven. And then two pounds of broccoli. So, Well, let's just do 245. 245 times 2, right? So 10, carry the 1, 9, 4, and then two decimal places. So then we need to add our 387. Use our decimal place to keep everything in line. So 877, right? And then 5 pounds of potatoes. So 165. So can we just come back up here and add a dollar sixty-five? So decimal zero one six one six. So six sixty. So minus six sixty. Decimal seven one two. So the difference is what? So who paid more? Raj or Juan? Juan. Right. And he pays two seventeen more because eight seventy seven minus six sixty equals two seventeen. Number 17, use the table for 17 through 18. What is the cost for five pounds of peanuts and seven pounds of almonds? So peanuts are what? Times what? Five. So five, carry the two, 12, carry the one, six, so 625. And then we also need to take what? 275 times what? So five, carry the three. 49 plus three is what? 52, right? Seven times five is 14 plus five is 19, right? Two decimal places. So 19.25 plus 6.25, so zero. Carry the one, five. 15, carry the one, two. So 25.50. So $25.50. How much more do three pounds of cashews cost than nine pounds of almonds? So we need to take what? Eleven fifty times three. So zero, fifteen, carry the one, four, three.